Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. My name is Scott. Uh, today is Wednesday. Um, it's another beautiful day outside. Um, 82, I think is what it is today. Uh, it's very nice outside. Uh, it's not as stifling as it has been the past few days. Uh, I think it's because the uh, cold front's moving in and there's going to be rain uh, for like the next week. Um, so it's not like super humid hot, you know, it's just a, it's a nice, comfortable day. Um, today was so much better than yesterday. Uh, I finished what I needed to do from yesterday today and, uh, you know, yay me. And uh, Friday, Hunger Games comes out. I'm hearing great things about it. Even from uh, the movie review people that I watch on uh, YouTube, they're giving it good reviews. And even the people who have uh, read the books is giving it good reviews. So um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, work was a normal day. You know, uh, can't really... It was neither good nor bad, it just was, you know. Um, it was one of those days where, you know, you wish there was more going on, but then again, you don't, you know. So, but it was a day. <laughs> uh, I woke up this morning, I was really sore and wore out, uh, just like I, you know, was yesterday. Uh, around lunchtime, it started going away. Uh, now it's just like a dull ache, you know. It's a, so I figure by the time I get up tomorrow, it'll all be gone. So, which is good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've done told the lady I work with and uh, the supervisors that if I ever have another brilliant idea like that, they're allowed to hit me. So uh, yeah. Uh, but I had another 100% inventory. That's 28 months in a row. Uh, I emailed my regional manager, uh, the one who is the main guy below the owner of the company for our area. He, uh, I emailed him and told him I had bad news. And uh, he's like, what's the bad news? I said, uh, the bad news is your other areas can't keep up with me on how good I am in my inventories. And uh, because I've went 28 straight months of them can't go two months without losing something so I figure uh, next month uh, will be two days before my five year anniversary so I'll uh, do the inventory and then say you know I've been here five years the whole time I've been here I haven't lost one piece of equipment you know I think that's good enough for a race and we'll see how that goes uh, <clears throat> I'm expecting to be laughed at, you know, uh, so we'll see, I mean, if, I'll go to the owner of the company if I have to, but I, you know, I feel I deserve at least a quarter, you know, I'm not asking for them to break the bank for me, you know, I'm not asking for like three dollar raise or just a quarter, you know, that's not much, you know, I figure five years of service, 28 months, or will be 29 months of uh, 100 percent inventories every time no lost equipment or supplies that's the least you can do i mean a quarter come on that'll only be my second raise in the five years i've you know worked there so i mean it's not too much to ask but we'll see you know i'm, I'm not I'm not expecting it but i hope i get it you know um not much else really going on guys um normal day you know uh not much really to talk about. I, sucks that my life is so boring, you know, that the highlight of my day is talking about getting a raise. You know, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the fact that I'm apparently more competent in my job than other people in my same position in our other areas. So, um, but here, here's the thing. I'm going to rant a little bit, and it's going to probably be a long video, so I apologize for that. But uh, when I first got asked to be moved up here for uh, be the warehouse manager, and I got asked by the owner of the company to do it, I was like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm more than happy to. 
because if I didn't, I was going to have to quit. And, you know, because I was moving back up here anyway, it was perfect timing. You know, God was looking out for me. And uh, he asked me if I could do it. I was like, yeah, I would love to. So, you know, I, I come up here and uh, the lady who was the warehouse, you know, person in charge of the warehouse at the time told me uh, when we was all going to have a meeting about, you know, our responsibilities and stuff when we moved up here, uh, you know, everybody that was moving up here and doing her thing, she told me on her way there that, and I quote here, we're only going to give you a little bit of what we was going to give your pay raise to, to because we don't think you will last, you know, we don't think you'll be able to do what you're supposed to do, all right? And if you do, in 30 days or one month, we will give you the full amount that, you know, you're supposed to be making, all right? First of all, that's a douchey move, you know, telling somebody, you know, you're, we think you're going to fail, so we're not going to invest anything into you. And then... You know, come, turn around, I do my job, you know, like I'm supposed to, never get that raise. I wait two years, or I'm sorry, a year and a half before I bring up the fact that, you know, you never gave me that raise you promised me, like, or the rest of that money, okay? And on top of that, I still don't get the full amount that they told me I'd get, all right? So, I figure, uh, you know... Now that I've successfully done my job like I'm supposed to, that they didn't think I would, uh, I don't think put me up to where I'm, you know, was supposed to be at that quarter I'm asking for. It's too much to ask. So uh, I, I don't, I honestly don't think it's too much to ask. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it'll go for the good. If not, you know, then we'll see. Well, I'll weigh my options then but uh that's that's it guys I'm, I'm done ranting and uh that's pretty much all i got for today and if anything interesting happens i'll turn the camera back on let you guys see it as always and if not this will be the last i talk to you till tomorrow so have a good one everybody